Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial from Diagenode concerning the installation of your Bioruptor Pico. Today, I will share with you how to install it. So, let's start. You'll have at least four boxes. If you have more boxes, the other ones are your ordered accessories. There is the Bioruptor cooler box, a box containing a manual pump, one box with your Bioruptor Pico, and the white one contains the accessories for the cooler system. We will start by opening your Bioruptor Pico box. You will find the Bioruptor itself. Oh my lord, what is it beautiful, isn't it? You'll find a third box, and you can find inside the mains black plug too, a user manual, a manual for good chromatic preparation, a guideline for tubes and a guideline for critical steps. Now open the water cooler box which contains the water cooler system itself and open now the kit for your chiller. You will find inside the tubings two tubes, one red and one blue. There is also a plastic bag containing a cutting device if you need to shorten the tubings, but be careful to have enough lack. One 24 volt cable to enable communication between the tiller and the indicator. There is a little transparent tube for draining. And finally, you can find some Colson's necklaces if you want to secure attachments. You can identify all parts of your machine and check if all these parts are on your table. Then you can begin the installation. Before using it, you'll have to remove all the different protections. There is tape on the edge of the lid two pieces of tape on the motor plate and finally a protective sheet. Place the bioruptor on a bench or another level surface and place the cooler below the bioruptor. You can place this chiller at the same level of the bioruptor because it contains a special valve system which avoid overflow. But never place it higher than your bioruptor. We will now connect the bioruptor with the cooler. Insert the cooling long red and blue isolated tubing by inserting them into the connectors. To check if they are well plugged, try to take them out. Indeed, it's, it's well plugged. If you really want to take them out, just push the ring while taking it out. At the back of the cooler, the red tube needs to be connected to the inflow and the blue one to the outflow. If they are too long, you can cut the length you need, but make sure there is enough slack. Plug the valve connection cable on the back side of the Bioruptor cooler and on the back side of the Bioruptor Pico. And connect the sonicator with his own mains cable. Plug now the power cord into the outlet of the cooler and connect it to mains. Now fill the tank of the cooler with about 2 or 3 liters of distilled water. In fact, you have just to observe the water level. When the level is between minimum and maximum, stop filling. If you put too much, the extra water will be drained automatically. To see how to do the draining manually, check the good practices video. Then, fill the sonication bath with about 700 ml of distilled water until the level reaches the line. Switch on the back side of the sonication unit 
and press the main switch on the front side of the cooler system to start the pump. Set the temperature to 4 degrees by pushing the center button. The button up will raise the desired temperature, while the button down will lower it. When temperature is set, push the center button one last time. You can see if the pump is working properly by checking the water arriving in the bath from the blue tubing through the motor plate. Okay, you are now ready for your first test. Just put a tube holder full of tubes into the sonication bath, push the start button and close the lid. If you hear the sound, it means everything is okay. Hey, congratulations! You are now ready for using your new Bioruptor Pico. If you want to see how you can use it, I suggest you to check the next video about the good practices. We will see together how to use it in the best way. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us by chatting with our crew on our website or by filling the form in the contact section or by sending an email directly to customer support at diagino.com we will be glad to help you thanks for watching i wish you a lot of pleasure with your new machine and the best results for your experiments thank you and see you soon for the next video bye